Good morning. Hey, I'm reading uh, the second book by John Perkins. His first book, uh, Economic, uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, was fantastic. That was uh, probably a 102. His second book came out late 07. I'm just finally getting to it in my queue here. It's the uh, secret history of the American uh, Empire by John Perkins. Uh, the Secret History of the American Empire. Uh, this should be required reading for every voting American in this country. A fantastic book. Uh, highly recommend you go out and read both books. You don't necessarily need to read them in order, but go out and get pick up these two books. You will not be disappointed uh, understanding what's going on. Um, it's again amazing. This book was probably written uh, late 06, early 07, and some of the stuff uh, He's been out there, John Perkins, as a former economic hitman, talking about what's going on, uh, you know, and what goes on with some of these Latin American, uh, Middle East, and Asian countries with some of the uh, corporatocracy that's out there. So I highly recommend you read it. Uh, it's very informative, and I think you'll learn a lot. Spoos are trading 878. That's right, 878. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine last night. He called me when they were 910, 911. Oh, I don't know. It was probably. It was pretty early. It was like uh, 7 o'clock Pacific. And he was like, oh, should we get long? I'm like, dude, we're going to be back to 8.83, and we're at 8.78 as we speak. So I over uh, overestimated, but we are making new lows again. All the action seems to be happening overnight uh, via the European markets. Uh, I just saw something that uh, the Bar Barclays shareholders are revolting in England. Uh, people are just disgusted with the government's trying to nationalize everything. This is continuing, folks, and this is kind of along the lines that um, the book, the John Perkins book, speaks to, is that we've got to wake up here in this country while we have a chance to still make change. Talk to your, uh, you know, talk to your local local uh, politicians, talk to your congressmen, write letters, make sure everybody's reading this book. Uh, you know, basically the the wheels have been greased for too long. This stuff has gone on for too long. We've got to take care of our own country before we can continue to be imperialistic with the corporatocracy that we've got out there. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But please read these books. Let me know what you think. I'd love to uh, have discussions on this stuff because it's powerful. I, I remember the first his first book had a big impression on me. Uh, but, again, that was probably right around 9-11. This book is very much having an even bigger effect on uh, my thinking here. So... Read it. Big picture. Uh, Spoo's the pivot is up at 903. We're already down 877 below the S1. So, folks, uh, to me, it's looking ugly this morning. 865 is your next support level. I'd be looking for that level at some point today. I'd probably sell up to uh, 900 again. Nothing is changing. Every day we're leaking a little bit more. Nothing is getting better here. Instead of getting a washout that nobody wants to get, we're going to get a slow bleed. Uh, Google right at 302.50 here. That's going to go under 300 today. So if you don't think so today, uh, you got another thing coming. But I can tell you this is the, the push that will take it under 300. Uh, that is it. Again, we could be nearing a bottom, a short-term bottom. I have no idea. I'm telling you pretty much every day I want to be flat this market. I don't want to be long or short anything right now overnight. I'm doing a lot of intraday trading. Uh, not a lot. Uh, actually, any of the trading I'm doing is more on the intraday sort. I just don't have a lot of uh, confidence right now in this market and the charts are telling me to stay away take your money and stay away and sometimes you have to do that in trading sometimes the best trade is cash so keep this in mind as you go forward uh, it is not an easy market to day trade and it is not an easy market to put on positions again if you're going to be in this market for a long time hey maybe you can buy a little bit but uh, but again i'm still convinced that uh, ultimately over time over the next few years we will see lower prices Yet, I still think we may see that 700 level, maybe even the 600s on the uh, S&P. Uh, we'll see if we get there uh, or if uh, the bailouts have their effect and uh, prop things up for another time and place. That's it. Have a good day. Again, spoo's down, oil down. Oil's 58, pushing real hard to 50. This is good news. But again, uh, this all goes along with uh, the demands uh, that the uh, large businesses are making right now in the world and their resources. Take care, have a good one, trade well, and be careful out there.